times of war I came, looking at a once great nation, now fallen into ruin and despair. I have seen the future, and it is mine for the taking. I've spent many years carefully calculating every move, working out each detail of my doctrine. I have waited far too long in the shadows, alone. But now, my time has come. Into this world of paranoia and despair, they'll turn to me as their ultimate leader. And my own world shall begin. They will know my name once more, as men knew it once long ago. And this time, they will never forget it. Permit me to introduce myself. My name is Mabuz, Dr. Mabuz. Drunk again, we Tom. I thought you were dead. And how have you been, Tom? What do you want? I've made something of myself since you've gone. Who oh, have you? Well, you couldn't prove it by me. I'm a form gal. I'm a good citizen. You're a liar, Tom Smith. You've had the heart and soul of a criminal ever since I found you on the streets of child car. You'll never be reformed. That's what you think. All right, that's enough, Tom. I want to know how my old adversary, Norbert von Venk, has been doing. He's dead. He died when you vanished. But you already knew this, didn't you? Who is his successor, Tom? Loman. Inspector Carl Loman. Loman. No. Yeah, he's one of the youngest members of the police force, and he made inspector. I want you to watch him, Tom. 
follow him wherever he goes. Now I want you to inform the others that I've reached murder. Where did you go and disappear? I never left. Well, he must have gone somewhere. I mean, he just vanished. I had plans to attend to. What sort of plans? Why wouldn't you tell me about them? Why wouldn't you let me in so I could help you with your work? Oh, Tom, poor Tom. Always so eager to please. Like a dog. Don't disobey me. Danger is coming for everyone. Listen to me. There is a conspiracy in this city. They are all in the power to trust no one. Come along, Madame Hackey. Come along. Lady Lavanna. Inspector Lerman, please, sit down. You wanted to speak to me, Mr. Lane? Yes, I wanted to ask you some questions about the Mabuse case. You're the only one who knows anything about it. You were working on it all those years when Mabuse was still active, you and Von Bank. Von Bank is dead. You're stuck with it. But there is no case. He's vanished. Then make him come back. Go out and get him. If he's dead, dig him up. If he's alive, find him. If he's insane, bring him in and lock him up. Don't even bother coming into the office. Go out and follow any clues you can find. Traces, rumors, anything. Because the thought of Dr. Mabuse out there working on some destructive plan for this city is the most frightening thing I can think of. Do you know what he said once? I want to destroy the world and rule its ashes. Exactly. These are strange times. I need to know what we're up against. Are we safe from this madman? Is he even still alive? Pick up where Von Bank left off. Start with Madame Carosa. The spiritualist. Bob Bank's methods near the end got a little odd with his talk of mysticism, reincarnation, the occult. But the abuse case is an odd case. Start with Carosa. See what you can find out. I'm afraid, Inspector, that my sister will not be of much use to you. She has not spoken to anyone in some 15 years. Why? These are strange times, Inspector. But my sister is a very sensitive woman. Sometimes there are too many vibrations. And she's overcome and reverts inside herself. Normally, she would have been able to come out of this, but something happened those 15 years ago. Something that she's been unable to recover from. What about when the inspector would visit? How would she communicate with him? Oh, well, the cards, I believe. Yes, we began seeing quite a lot of the inspector before his death. I assumed that he had some questions of my sister about the afterlife. To prepare himself. Did he ever mention any of the cases he was working on? Only one. And now I'm unable to remember what it was about. A doctor, a professor. Dr. Mabuse? Yes. I believe that was the name. Mabuse. It's a French name. Very odd. Anyway. Inspector von Wenck and my sister discussed the case quite often. Do you remember what he would ask? Oh, no. Never. Any session between my sister and the inspector would have been entirely private. Well, 
I'm sorry to have disturbed you and your sister. Thank you. If you can remember anything else, please contact me. But Inspector, did you not want to have a session with my sister? You said she wouldn't be much help. Well, not in the traditional way, of course, but, but there are other ways. All right. I don't have much else to go on. Very good, Inspector. Please, have a seat. He knows thy thought. Hear his speech. Say thou not. He will not be commanded. And here's another. More potent than the first. And what is this? That rises like the issue of a king. And wears upon his baby brow the round and top of sovereignty? Be lion metalled, proud, and take no care who chiefs, who frets, or where conspirers are. He will never vanquish Anything, Inspector? No. Nothing. Thank you, Madame. Take care, Inspector. These are strange times. For salvation, the end of the world is nigh. Pray to him to save your soul. The world isn't coming to an end. <laughs> but it is. Ask him to save the soul. Go back. Ask him. Your soul will be.
Who are you? What are you doing here? How did you get in here? Please, Mr. Lim, I bid you no harm. But you must help me. Who are you? My name is Clem. Dr. Horace Clem. How did you get in here? Mr. Lowen. For he is listening. Where is Mugius? Don't say his name. You may call him to us. Do you know where he is? Tell me what you know. He made me do terrible things. Murder. Mass destruction. He made me make weaponry. Sit down. Tell me everything. When the doctor's thugs brought me to him, they showed me plans, elements. They made me create something. Something quite horrible. I can tell you they are. Look upon this city, Carl, as more than just a city. You must imagine it as the entire world. And if any bad elements should form in the city, they could spread throughout like a virus before the evil can spread. We must find it, isolate it, and move it out. You don't want to be living in a diseased world. Remember that when you become inspector. Evil shall with evil be expelled. That would suggest you turning to evil. How can you destroy it if you give in to it? If you infiltrate it, disguise yourself as evil, couldn't you take it down? And the great danger is losing yourself to it. The evil life is a kind of death. Yes? What do you want? Miss Novello. Yes? I'm Inspector Loman. I'd like to ask you a few questions. May I come in? Sit down, Inspector. Would you like a drink? Thanks. Wait. No thanks, I never drink on the job. So, Inspector, what did you want to question me about? Have I done something wrong? Miss Novello, do you know anyone by the name of Dr. Horace Clumps? No. Why would I? I've never heard the name before. Why? What has he done? Well, he really hasn't done anything exactly. He was kidnapped. And you think I haven't? I wasn't suggesting that you had. Then what were you suggesting, Inspector? I just wanted to know if you knew him. Well, I don't. Sorry. Well, how about this name then? Dr. Mabuse. Sound familiar? Of course I've heard of him. Who hasn't? And what exactly have you heard, Mr. Bello? Oh, just what everyone else has heard. I mean, he's the most notorious criminal in the world. Someone's bound to hear of him. Well, do you know anything about him? Like I said, Inspector, I just know as much as the next person. Why? 
Do I look like someone who would be involved with such a character? Dr. Clem seems to think so. I thought you said Dr. Clem had been kidnapped. Well, he was. By abuse, but he escaped or was let loose or... It sounds just like you don't quite know what you're doing, Inspector. I'll ask you again. What is your connection with Dr. Ripkews? He hired me once. So you have seen him. What did he hire you for? No. I never actually saw him. I was hired by one of his thugs, Tom Smith. I was only given instructions. What sort of instructions? Oh, I don't know. Most of the time I was just delivering things and making transactions. Drawings, plans, paperwork contracts and I don't know to whom I never saw their faces I was told to just leave things in alleyways and corners and forget where they were and who would pick them up Dr. Abuse so you have seen abuse no I was given written instructions Tom Smith would get instructions that he'd received from abuse do you still have those instructions no I was told to burn them all after they were carried out. Were they handwritten or typed? They were typed on a typewriter. Well, how do you know they weren't directly from Tom Smith himself? I don't know. And where is Tom Smith? Exactly. He's dead. And how did he die? He burns to death. At least that's what I heard. So you don't know for sure? No. And if... Who told you about this? I don't know. I don't know anything other than what I just told you. Oh, but I think you do, Miss Novello. I think you know far more than you let on. You'll have to excuse me, Inspector, but I have an appointment. You need to leave. With whom, may I ask? That's none of your concern. Please leave. Is it talking abuse? No. None of your concern. You're plotting something. And you aren't telling me what it is. All in good time. But now, you need to get ready for the next part of our plan. the cylinders? Yes. yourself with things that you shouldn't be meddling with. You stand in my way. You seek answers that you don't want to know. You're in far over your head. Prepare yourself, Inspector Lone. Everyone you think you can trust 
will not be trustworthy. The world will become a far crueler place than you have ever known. And you must try to keep your mind steady, or you may die screaming in an asylum. Watch yourself, Inspector. and you let him get away. I don't know what I saw or if I saw. And what of the place now? Does it remain the hiding place of Dr. Mabuse or has he relocated? I don't know. I haven't gone back. Why not? You're afraid, aren't you? I'm not. Then what's kept you from going back? I don't know. You've let Mabuse inside your head, haven't you? No. You have, and you don't even realize it. Maybe you are too young to be an inspector. All my advisors said so. I thought differently. Now it seems that they were right. Then take me off the case. Remove me from the force. Kick me out of the entire department. Just do it and get it over with already. I don't want this anymore. I've never wanted this case. I do. And maybe you'll kill you in your sleep tonight. No. You remain on the case. You stay and you get to live. Now what is this Dr. Clem? Where's he gone to? I don't know. He said he'd find me. And the novello woman? I think she's at her apartment, unless she's carrying something out from abuse. Then get out there and trail her now! Step up to this case and stop being such a coward! I'm not a coward. Then prove it. Get me abuse. I'm sorry for frightening you, Mr. Lohman. I must conceal my identity unless I be found by Dr. Mabuse. You found me last night. What? I found Christine in the belt, like you told me. I followed her to an abandoned building where she met up with Mabuse and two other men. So you have spoken to her? Did you interrogate her? I did. And? Do you know anything about these cylinders that Mabuse wants to deliver? Cylinders? Mabuse had Christina deliver cylinders to someone. Do you know anything about these cylinders? Did you see anything when you were being held by Mabuse? I don't know anything about the cylinders. How about Tom Smith? Do you know him? Tom Smith was Dr. Mabuse's right-hand man. He received information and passed it on to me. How did he die? He burned to death, Mr. Yes, I know. But how? I don't know. This is something I... Who did you hear this from? I can't say. Why not? I'm trying to help. I'm trying to figure all this out to catch some abuse. And you can't seem to answer any questions. Mr. Lohman, he's listening. Who is? What? How? I don't see him. Yeah. 
just where do you think you're going? I saw you last night. What are you talking about? I saw you with Mabuse. You're insane, Inspector. Don't lie to me. What are these cylinders? What is he planning? I don't know. You're lying to me. I'm not. What is going on? What is he planning? I'm only an extension of his gang. He never reveals his plans to anyone except for Tom Smith. And you said Tom Smith was dead. He is. Then who knows his plans now? I don't know. There seems to be a lot that you don't know. Well, that's the truth. You know I saw him in the streets just now. That's impossible. He was there for a moment, then he vanished. How do you know it was him? Dr. Clem said it was him. How would he know it's him? Nobody's ever seen abuse. I don't know, but he knew. Do you think it was him? I don't know what to think any longer. Now, who is this Dr. Clem again? He was kidnapped by abuse to create some sort of weapon. How did he escape? I don't know, but he managed. Nobody escapes from abuse. What are you saying? I'm saying that when they try to escape, he kills them. What? Abuse is messing with your mind. How do I know that what you're telling me is the truth? How do I know that you're just not another pawn in Mabuse's plan? You're lying to me. You're in on it too. It's late, Inspector. Aren't you going home? Not quite yet. I think I may have found something. Really? I'm in the fuse case. As I went to see a spiritualist today, Madame Carosa. What did she say? She spoke about rays of fire. A machine, a contraption that could create rays of fire. A factory on the outskirts of the city, in the industrial area. But what does that have to do with the abuse case? Remember that counterfeit ring we found? It's part of a larger plan of building something. He's buying machines. But Inspector, how can you trust the information that the spiritualist is giving you? How do you know that she's not lying to you and just taking your money? How do you know that she's not working from abuse herself for that matter? She's one of the few people, Carl, that we can trust in the city. We don't have to worry about her. It's these machines we need to concern ourselves with. We're going to investigate the factory soon. Within a fortnight. I just have to make sure I haven't overlooked my other lead. Which is? I have a theory. It's still weak. But I have a feeling it might be a key to Abuse is downfall. What is it? I'd rather... I'd rather keep it to myself, if you don't mind. I, 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 I don't want you to know at the moment. I, I think it will be a lot safer for you if you don't know. Okay. Good night, Inspector. I have a theory that might be a key to the beast's downfall. And I saw another beast rising from the ground, a puppet of the first beast that everybody loved, that had survived the death blow. And the second beast, it reared magical signs. It used its magic 
to hoodwink the people, to build an image of the first beast. <laughs> so what now? Now, our plans for Mr. Loman have been put into motion. All we have to do is wait for him to come to us. And what about the cylinder plans? Plans for the cylinder will be put into motion today. Edward. Yes, Tosa. I want you to take this. Go visit our old friend, the city general, Oscar Lang. And what shall I tell him? Tell him that this is a gift from me to him. That this represents only the beginning of what I have planned for this great city. But Inspector Lohman, what did you tell him? Why are you hiding, Tom? What did he want to know about the books? Everything is going according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> So why did you come back at this exact time? Did you tell him about that evening? At the carnival? The boost came to you. What did he want? To make some sort of deal with him. What did my boost tell you? You know something. You cannot hide your secrets from me. What is it you know? part of his master plan. Yes. You were supposed to find out this information. We were, we were supposed to prevent this from happening. He's only just the first part. I assume so. It's what I've been sent. Who brought them? Was it the novella woman? No. A man. Edward Hull. Is what he must have meant by cylinders. It's a massacre. Did you get any other information? Just this address. Abuse wants to speak with me tonight at 8 o'clock. I must be with you. I'll get half the force and we'll surround the place. You need police protection. No. He'll never show up. How do you know that the man that shows up will even beam abuse? Nobody's ever seen him. It's just what he's going to have to take. It's a suicide mission. It's for the safety of the people of this city. Of the world, for that matter. Abuse's reign of terror will know no bounds. We've lost this.
What has your sister told you? He seeks you. He comes soon. He's all around us. Can you not feel him? What do you know about abuse? Dio Pomar. For help and enter a new world. Christina. No, Madame Van Harbro, no. a table before me. Thy cup runneth over. Surely goodness shall follow thee all the days of his life, and he shall dwelleth in his house forever. You enter, Inspector Locke. I've been waiting for you. Welcome, Inspector. So, you finally caught up with me. Your game's up, Mabuse. You can't get out of this one, you've lost. The rest of the forces surrounding the building right now. Now tell me where you got Lang. How nervous are you, Lohman? This is your biggest case. Isn't that extraordinary? You catch me and you'll be the toast of the country, the world. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Come out now, Doctor. I'm ordering you. Stop trying to be such a tough cop. You're not. Fifteen seconds for abuse, then I shoot. What if I told you? that I didn't feel like coming out from behind the curtain. What would you do then, Inspector? I'd kill you, Doctor. But how would you know where to aim the gun? Just come out now! Ten seconds! I'll come out if you will come to the curtain. I will do no such thing. You come to me. Ah, such intensity. You'll do well, Inspector. Come, part the curtain, 
Now come quietly. That'll look good for you, Inspector. I'll stay in one place, and I'll keep talking so you'll know that I won't try anything funny. How's that, Inspector? All right. Start talking. How about if I sing a song, Inspector? Will that work? Mr. City General. Now listen carefully, City General. You have a very important job to perform for me. I am writing this note in deep sadness. I am sorry that I cannot take this job any longer. The stress of cleaning up this city has taken its toll on me. This world is getting worse and I can no longer find the strength within to carry on with my work. I do not want to be a burden to this city any longer. I leave behind a series of plans to help clean the city of evil and create a utopian environment that is safe for all. I wish for these plans to be carried out in my honor, and I name my successor as Inspector Carl Lowe. Goodbye, City General Oscar Lane. Safe 
or of undead sword case files. He was up against you. What happened? say you're going to recover very soon. You can return to work. Huh? You can return to work, Inspector. You understand? You can solve more cases. Maybe even this case.
for coming, but I didn't expect you so soon. I thought you'd be a bit later. I'm a pawn of Dr. Mabuse, but I'm sure that you've figured that out by now. Yes, obviously. Dr. Mabuse wants you for his new world, a utopian society that he will rule. It's Yopamar, where everyone will live in accordance to his doctrine. And he wants you to be the leader of that new society. Why would he want me? Because you're a hero. You brought down some of the nastiest criminals out there. Who better than you to lead a utopian society? That's why I had Lang declare me his successor before he murdered him. So that I could gain the power needed to lead his society. In a way. But what about the plans? The plans that were delivered to Lang. How do they figure into all this? The plans are for the death ray room. The room is a death chamber in which anyone caught disobeying Mabuse's laws will be taken to and executed in by use of a death ray. The weapon Mabuse had Clem made for him. Praise of fire. And I am to tell you where to find Mabuse. The real Mabuse. Not some record player. Yes, Mabuse himself. He's waiting for you. At this address. But why are the hypocrisy? And the lying? And the vague clues? It's all a test. A test of your mind capabilities, how much it could take. Why this charade? What's the point of it all? Why go through all this trouble? He had you running in circles, losing yourself in this warped illusion he'd created for you. He was keeping you busy so he could lay the final plans for Etiopamar. He's controlling everything. He's controlling us. Look, he brought you to me and you don't even know why. We're all pawns in his game. But if he's controlling us this very moment, and he's told you to tell me that it's all been a charade, a trap, a act. Just another step forward, his master. Successor. How long it took you to figure that out, Tom? I'm not going to let you carry out your plan. Which plan are you referring to? I have several. You're going to make Loman your successor. What's so special about Loman? Okay. I can be an even greater successor than Loman would ever be. I can bring honor to the name of Mabuse. You've taught me everything that I know. And I know your methods. And I'm your message boy, don't forget that. So choose me. No. It has always been low. 
Why him? These plans were set in motion many years ago, Tom. There's nothing you can do about it now. I can kill Loman. I will find him, and I'll kill him. And then you'll have to choose me. You will not kill Loman. I can do it. You know that I could. And you couldn't stop me. Stand aside, Tom. Not until you choose me. You disobey me. You, Tom Smith. A nobody. An orphan of the streets. You threaten me? Don't you realize that I could crush you with a single thought? Uh, you're angry. I understand that. But I forgive you. I should be angry. I'll forgive what you said to me, Tom. Because I understand that you want Tom. That's what you've been waiting for, isn't it? That's what you've been waiting and hoping for all these years. Some share of the power. Well, now that time has come. In Ezio Pomar, you will experience more power than you ever dreamed of. Oh, let me show you. Thought you would appreciate this room, Tom. What is it? It's for all the prisoners of my new world of Etio Pomar who disobey me. You mean I get to be in charge of the prisoners in the new world? So this is the most powerful position. Oh, it's extremely powerful. I've always wanted to garner some respect from you. And now you're finally rewarded. Thank you, Doctor. There's no need to thank me, Tom. You faithful most of the time so I decided to honor you with a, a sort of reward yes you you have the honor of being the first prisoner of my new world of Etiopomar to experience my death ray I hope that this is a satisfactory reward for you Tom and what about the sun? Inspector Holman arrives, show him in.
Clem. Exactly how to I am just a simple man who saw what was wrong with the world and took advantage of it to exploit it and to gain from it. Why? Because I can. Because no one has ever stopped me. Because no one ever can stop me. You see, I'm always ahead of my words out in front of the rest of the world. I get what I want, and I always win. You won't win this time. Oh, but I already have won. And you know that I've won. You're here, aren't you? You were told. You knew what would happen if you came here. And yet, here you are. I win. So how am I to lead your new world? Lead it. Whoever said you're going to lead it. What do you mean? You're not going to lead it. You're going to rule it. What? Yes, you are going to rule my new world that you are. But it's your world. Why would I rule it? Because you will be me. My thoughts will become your thoughts. My every will will become your You will become me. And what becomes of my thoughts? What do you think will happen with your thoughts? My thoughts get transferred into your head. It's a switch. Very good. Your body is dying. What if I killed you right now, Doctor? I would ruin your plan and I would win your game. You won't kill me. You're much too fascinated by me. What if I escape? Look around. Tell me where you see a door. Someone is bound to stop me. Someone will. No one has stopped me yet. Oh, there have been many who have tried. But they're always gone by the time I'm ready to make my next move. Someone stop me. It's going to happen. It can't not happen. You just can't see it. I can see everything. I know everything. And I know that I shall not be stopped. Not until my master plan has been fully carried out. I know that people will try. And I know they will not succeed. They will not prevail until... Until... Even you know, Doctor, that you can only go so far until... until you are finally stopped. Because even you know that nothing will last forever. Not your body, or your plans. And that's your weakness. You know you're about to be stopped, and that's what you're going to hide in. My mentor, Inspector Von Vank, almost succeeded in stopping you. I knew that. I read the files. And he would have stopped you too if you hadn't had receded in the shadows like the coward that you are. You can be stopped. Everything can be stopped. Maybe so. But not yet.
Did everything go well? Miss Dr. Abus, did you kill him? Be quiet, Edward. Oh, that doctor's coat. And him. He killed him. I said silence, Edward. Now get out of here. I need to speak with the inspector alone. Is there anything left in there? Any traces? Nothing. to see at your tomorrow. When shall we begin the plans for the takeover? The plans for the takeover were put into motion days ago. All that is left is the speech. And then the deal is you. Today is Loman's inauguration ceremony for City General. I know. Why do you think I timed everything just so? My world will become a reality, and I shall be its ruler. We shall rule together as husband and wife. Teo Pumar shall begin here. This city will be its capital city, and it will spread like a wildfire, like a disease, and everyone will want to join. Our peoples will start at the thousands, and millions, and billions, then everyone, one nation, one mass of people doing what I tell them. One giant sea of endless faces at my fingertips, doing my every will. And nothing will stop us. nearly midnight. The most beautiful time of the night. Don't you agree? In visions of a dark night, I have dreamed of joy departed. 
but a waking dream of life and light has left me brokenhearted. Oh, don't look at me like that. I warned you, did I not? You chose not to listen. I need your help. Why? Have you discovered a threat to your little society? <laughs> oh, my dear doctor. What do you think I am, some kind of fool? It's Christina you're afraid of. And you knew this was coming. You saw it in the cards. There are darker forces at work here. Forces not even you can control. That's why I need your help. I need the key. Key? You know what I'm talking about. There's no such key. You lie. The three of you possess it. I demand you to hand it over. It's the only way I win. Win? But you won't win. This is your destruction. Our kind and our time are no longer. A new form of man shall rise, and we must recede back into the dust from whence we came. There must be a way. There must. Fear death by water. <laughs> One must be so careful these days.